Can I hold this mic? Yeah. Aloha! <laughs> Top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? A little sick for us over here. My little tiny tea is homesick with me today. I got her sick. Unfortunately, I was sick last, Whoa. <laughs> last week. <laughs> Gosh. So we're going to show you some stuff here. I've got a order in recently from Cold Blooded Cafe, and I wanted to show you what the quality looks like. I didn't do the unboxing uh, uncut here because I was sick when the order came in, and I just kind of wanted to get them in the freezer and, and then crawl into bed and die. So after I finished doing that, yeah, so, but I'm just going to grab a random bag out there. We'll check them out. Cusco 10, coldbloodedcafe.com. Go there, and you will be able to get yourself a good discount on what quality rodents we will just see in a moment. I've got several snakes also that are going, you know what, I got way ahead of myself here, T. Once a week, we upload a beautifully edited cinematic masterpiece to this channel. This video is uncut. And in today's Uncut video, I already told you what we're going to do, but I didn't mention that we're going to show you a few snakes that, since I've just been sick and super busy, we haven't uploaded a few of these snakes to Morph Market. I've just been kind of growing them up. I don't, there's no reason in particular that I haven't uploaded these snakes to Morph Market yet. I just haven't, and that's just is what it is, but this is one of them, and we'll show you a couple after we show you the rodents. Um, this is bright. <laughs> really, really, help, help. really bright. So, this here is a cinnamon... T, it's your face. <laughs> Cinnamon Lesser Red Stripe Clown female that I've, I've shown her on a video once before, I think when she first hatched out, but I just, I haven't had them listed in Morph Market. She's growing like a weed, eating like a champion, and um, not listed on Morph Market. Basically, all the snakes that I show you here today, I just want to talk to you over email or get a hold of me on the phone, and we'll just kind of chat about, see what it is, because basically... Next week is the last week that we're going to be shipping anything anywhere as far as shipping snakes. And then whatever doesn't end up shipping next week, then it's going to be the holidays, you know, and then cold season and Christmas and all that. So we don't, we don't ship during that time. And anything that doesn't make it out before Thanksgiving week, we will hold on to for the Reptile Super Show. So if you really want to get one of these snakes, now's the time. Uh, let's go take a quick look at the tea. We're gonna go grab some rodents at random out of the fridge out here, up here out of the freezer. Okay. You want, are you, you want to come with me? You can hang out here, you can do what you want. It's your call. How you feeling, T? Yeah. Good. She handles being sick better than I do. I turn into a little <laughs> weepy whiny. And then she just handles it like a champ. Okay. So I'm going to basically just pull at random one of these bags, and we'll just kind of look at it in close detail. They all, they all are packed the same, they all look the same, but the thing I'm looking for is poop. Because usually when you euthanize rodents, um, some, they tend to poop, but you know, depending on how diligent you are about picking through them, I suppose. I've never euthanized them myself, so I don't know the exact process. Pardon me for that, but uh, anyway, I like to go through my rodents and not have any poop. So we'll just grab a bag at random. Or T, why don't you just pick a bag randomly? Well, any one of the ones up, yeah, up there. Up the top, okay. Yeah, that's one way to do it. I was gonna do it, me, me, my new but right up the top works too. All right, let's get back in there. Ooh, did you guys see my new screen? I put in this screen so that now we don't have flies coming in here anymore. I figured I would've done that years ago, but nope, just last week. Or just whenever that was. I've lost track of time. All time and space has become a thing of Imagination, no longer living in a time of reality. It doesn't feel like, at least. <laughs> All right, see, let's take a good, hard look here at these rodents and see what, what it's looking like. They're all laid out real nice. It's looking pretty good as far as that goes. Dad, look good. <laughs> oh, do you draw some stuff? Ooh. Ooh. All right, let's take a look. Cause we, gotta, we still got to look at some... More snakes, too, in this video. Did I hit record? Oh, good, I did. All right. Let's put them on the table here. Yeah. What we're looking for, T, is a piece of poop. If we don't see a piece of poop, well, that'll be, that'll be fantastic. Looking pretty good so far. I didn't see any, like, pieces drop out. Do you do... 
This is kind of morbid in a way. Never actually inspected this close to a rodent order. I usually just kind of thaw them out and feed them to snakes. And sometimes, you know, I would think maybe a little bit of fecal activity would maybe entice a smell and make it good for snakes, but I just personally don't want to do anything like that, like deal with feces. What's this? Oh, that is a, I think that's a ear. That's a piece of, that's a piece of rodent right there. Mm. This is disgusting, isn't it, T? Yes. Well, no, no, uh, no poops. So that's pretty good. Wow. That's really good. In fact, these rodents are so clean that I'm just going to lick one. Just kidding. That's that's highly unadvised. I don't care how clean your rodents are. You don't go don't go licking the rodents. <laughs> we're not trying to start another uh, black plague, All right, T? And in fact, we're gonna wash our hands real good after this. Yes. Actually, I'm gonna go put some sanitizer on right now before I grab. Actually, you know, what? I'll grab a snake even with some rodent smell on here, and we'll see what happens. These these next couple snakes are actually gonna show you here. I gotta sanitize my camera and all that. Rats are gross, dude. I'm sorry. I mean, I know they're cleaner than mice and everything, but I just feel disgusting after touching rats. Like I need to sanitize my entire life. What do you think, T? How are you feeling about it? <laughs> you feeling good about it? <laughs> like I can't touch my face. I just yeah. All right. Hello, snakes. I wonder how they react to these. Um, well, they're, it's, they're frozen, so they shouldn't have much of a reaction. Although these snakes are both very uh, food responsive. So both of these snakes here are also ones that I don't have listed on Morph Market just because I haven't gotten around to it. But um, I'm willing to. That snake's going to bite you, T. No! <laughs> so these snakes here are both definitely spot-nosed clowns. One's a male, one's a female. And they're both, I, I'm pretty sure they're both yellow belly as well. That was definitely in the pairing. And also Orange Dream was in the pairing too. Um, I haven't done, I know there's a test now for Orange Dream, so that's pretty cool. And they're also possibly het pied, and there's tests for that too. And I'm willing to do all those tests um, if it means, you know, somebody getting these snakes. If we're, because whether I, whether I sell them or not, I'm going to definitely test for the het pied. And I think I might as well test the Orange Dream thing too, because I, I still have not done a single genetic test, even though the genetic testing is now available, which is pretty freaking cool, man. I just, like, like I said, it's just been busy, dude. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. you know, taking care of the animals is one thing. Testing for them is a whole other process. I've got to ship out snakes today, so it's just been it's just been busy. Here's what it is. I'm not complaining. I'm just stating the facts. Just been busy, right, T? Yeah, I'm pretty busy. All right. So this is some good looking snakes. I mean, spot nose clown, and then you throw in the yellow belly, and uh, there they are. I actually have a couple of champagne het pies over there that aren't on morph market either, but. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna go crazy and show a hundred different snakes in this video. I'm already getting out of focus, and my brain's still recovering from whatever it is that I gave to T here. Are you about that? You forgive me? Oh, did you just assault me? All right. Well, now it's your turn. Now it's, it's your show. Now it's the Tiny T show. You, Tell the people all about uh, what's going on with you while I put these snakes away. Come on, be entertaining. Tell them, tell them your favorite thing about I don't know. Are you really just gonna sit there? Did you just put your hand on your face? Tiny T. What do you know? Wow, <laughs> and that's why we don't do What Do You Know anymore. I'm just kidding, it's been a long time. We should bring back the What Do You Know segment, huh? No! No? You don't like it? No. Hmm. I thought it was pretty cool. Well, I guess my opinion is poop. <laughs> um, in here, um, please comment down below. <laughs> snakeys. More snakeys? Eight, eight. Oh, wow. Mm. 
this snake is fired up about food. Let me tell you what. Champagne, 100% het pied female. There's actually two of these. And T, 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 T. Your face. He keeps trying to focus on your face, the camera. <laughs> Looking good and ready to take a bite of <laughs> food. <laughs> Oh, hey, 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 I know, I know, there's rodents all over my hand, I know, I know, I know, all right, all right, you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, we'll see you this weekend for our next video, <laughs> aloha, more snakes, more snakes, more snakes,